Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. This video today is going to be about me packing for my two week stay in Atlantic City. This is my home in Connecticut. The date is June 1st, 2024. Weather wise, it couldn't be more amazing. Perfect weather today. This is my side porch that overlooks my backyard. I lived in Connecticut my whole life and lived in this house. I think it's been about 15 years. Gotta say, this is a tough time for me to leave because these flowers are like my kids. <laughs> I talk to them so much and I try to nurture them so much. Now I'm like, oh God, you guys are all like looking beautiful and now I'm gonna leave you. My peonies are starting to come in. I'm so excited. I planted these like three years ago and had nothing and now they're starting to come up. Oh my gosh, I love my flowers so much. But it's time to go to Atlantic City and I wanna take you guys with me. But first, I wanna show you how I pack to go to Atlantic City. First, I wanna share with you a new backpack that I received in the mail. Because I have a travel channel, I get offers all the time, but a lot of times it's stuff that I can't even use. Like, I get, I got an offer today for something that crushes cans. Like, what am I gonna do with that? <laughs> but this was something that I thought I could use and something I could promote. And I was really hoping that I would like it because I really don't only wanna promote something that's really good. I was very interested in this item to check it out because it sounded like something that I could use going on an airplane. This is going to be considered a personal item, but there's so many different storage places, zipper components, you know, places to store this or that. I mean, I'm like really excited to pack my stuff and figure out a different way of packing just to be a little bit more organized. I really need that in my life. I will leave a link in the description for more information about this backpack. I will show you what I packed in the backpack in a little bit. I packed so many clothes and it's all gonna go in this suitcase. I'm only bringing two pairs of shoes this time. Both of them are Skechers and that's the only brand I wear and I wear Uggs in the winter time. Bye. <laughs> Bye, have a good day. I gotta go. Kelly doesn't get to come to Atlantic City. Bye. He's got to go make videos. He has his own YouTube channel. Bye. <laughs> Kelly's Lawn Service. Check him out. It seriously <laughs> is a great channel. Now back to packing. I always say I'm going to take less stuff than last time. Yes, I'm that person. I bring pillows, blankets, towels. Because <laughs> you know what? I never have a problem. If I don't like the pillows, I have some. I leave them in the car. Obviously, this rule does not apply if I'm flying. Another winner for me about this new backpack was that yeah, I could bring my laptop and put it in there. It's all nice and cushioned, all safe. I also packed in there the Roku, all my chargers, my battery packs. Everything fit in there really nicely and there was much more room in there than I thought there was gonna be. At this point of packing, I'm like, you know what? This can be like the bag that I take all my stuff for recording and editing sort of like my work travel bag, but it ended up being so much more than that because there's so much room in here. From all my travels, I have learned to bring extension cords everywhere I go. I have to add, and this is very important, the quality of this bag is fantastic. It's waterproof, the, the zippers work seamlessly, no problems at all, that's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I put some business cards in here, my gaming, my vouchers, look at this. I got some vouchers from Tropicana. 24 cents. <laughs> we got seven cents from Harris, 34 cents from somewhere else. I don't know. I'm going to bring them. I might use them. I might not. But now I have an organized pocket. Now I know where they are. There is also a key ring attached for your keys or your player's card. Other things I bring, I bring a fanny pack for the days that I'm filming. I'm gonna stuff my shoes in here. There's so much more room than I thought there was gonna be. I think I'm gonna be able to fit my makeup and hair products in here too. I'm gonna to be careful not to pack this too heavy though because I have a nerve problem in my neck that when I strain my neck, I get this like <laughs> terrible pain. So I might not put anything heavy in here. So I think I'm gonna add some jewelry. My prized possession are the rings that my daughter Sky made. She is a jewelry designer. Now I have nice safe places to pack my jewelry. Hell, let's throw my straightening iron in there too. There's definitely still more room in here, but like I said, I don't want to make it too heavy. Another thing I have to get together and pack is my makeup. I personally use a laptop bag because <laughs> it's all cushioned to put my makeup in. It seems to work pretty good. Not sure if I'm going to add that to the backpack though. Decisions, decisions. 
Now for the heavier and potentially dangerous items, they could leak. <laughs> I always put these in a plastic bag. I also bring a separate toothbrush and a smaller toothpaste when I'm jetting out to different hotels. I bring a couple garbage bags, you never know if you're gonna need any. And I also bring some wet wipes just in case the room's not as clean as I like. I usually use tote bags and shopping bags for moving my stuff around. So this is gonna be nice to try something new. Now let's close this up and see how easy it is. Let's go toss in some pens, you never know. Chargers, don't forget your phone charger. This backpack was super easy to close. I'm very impressed, I really like this. Really not necessary, but other things I bring on long trips are candles, <laughs> Verizon internet. I bring some storage containers, wine glasses, coffee mugs. Oh, and this is important. <laughs> if you plan on washing clothes, bring your own detergent because you never know if they're gonna have it where you're going. And I have to just find a little squishy bag to store it in because I don't want that to explode anywhere. In my wallet, I keep my tip money on the left and my gambling money on the right. On the sides of the backpack, one side has a water bottle holder and the other side has a handle. So if you prefer to hold it like a traditional suitcase, you can do that. I just have to run quickly to my neighborhood market, Big Y, in Shelton, Connecticut to get my husband and my daughter some groceries while I'm away because if I don't shop, they don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're just lazy like that. I have to go say goodbye to my flowers. I'm trying to get on the road by 12 o'clock so I can get there by at least 4 o'clock in Atlantic City. It is a Saturday though, so I'm hoping the traffic is not that bad. Fingers crossed. I am going to have to bring some of these flowers though. I'm going to be staying at Flagship Resort for two weeks in a row. I'm going to be floating in and out of different hotels during my stay, but I try to make the room look really pretty. <laughs> So I bring a, an assortment of real and artificial flowers. It is 12 o'clock and it's time to get on the road. I'm gonna say goodbye to my house. This is where I live, in case anybody cares. It's an older house, it was built in 1880. It is a two family home with two separate apartments, which works out great because our daughters live upstairs when they are in town. Click goodbye note to Kelly and I am off. I have a full car, my new backpack and my flowers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a character. My kids call me the crazy flower lady. Atlantic City from where I am in Connecticut is about three and a half hours with no traffic. It could take me up to six hours, depending on when I leave. There was some traffic going on. They were doing some road work. There was a couple accidents. It took me close to five hours to get to Atlantic City. Like I said, I am staying here for two weeks and I have absolutely no plans. I have no idea where I'm going, or what kind of videos I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna wing it. And look, we're in Atlantic City already. It wasn't that fast. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park at Caesars because I get free parking over here. And I'm gonna walk over to Bally's because Bally's today is giving out free carnival cruises. I did not get the offer, but I'm gonna go see if I can get it. And that is gonna be my next video. I'm gonna take you to Bally's. Look out for that video, probably coming up today. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. Be well to yourself and kind to others. Safe travels to you.